Hi there, I'm Rebecca and a really warm welcome back to my channel, Pumpkin Becky. It's plant of the week time and this week's plant is the wood anemone or anemone nemorosa. Let's take a look. The wood anemone is a herbaceous perennial. It's part of the buttercup family and it's native to Europe. The wood anemone flowers from March to May and like many native flowers it's gathered itself some little common names and this includes windflower, thimbleweed and smell fox and that's because the leaves can smell a bit musky. It grows in shady woodland and it spreads via the root system on rhizomes and it can be very slow to spread and it's often used as an indicator for very ancient woodland. The quickest way to increase the size of a clump is to divide a section once the foliage and flowers have died back, lift it and plant it elsewhere. An enemy can be propagated from seed but it can take a plant five years to reach flowering maturity so it's not the quickest and surest way for the plant to reproduce. The wild form is normally white and often can be seen with a slight mauve flush across the back of the petals. It has now been cultivated into hundreds of different varieties so there's an anemone for every situation. My woodland garden is a home to native flowers and pollinators so I make sure I just stick with the Nemorosa variety. It's a firm favourite with hoverflies which are amazing pest control and they will eat aphids, thrips and other plant sucking beasties that we don't want. The wood anemone grows in deciduous woodland and that's because it likes to do its growing, flowering, reproducing all in the very early spring before the tree canopy has had chance to fill out. During the day the flowers are held up above the leaves and they look like a little galaxy of stars on the woodland floor. and the flowers track the path of the sun through the day. As dusk falls, the flower heads will close and droop slightly. And the thinking is that that's to protect the pollen, but that's really interesting because it's not its best way of reproducing. Remember, never dig up or pick flowers growing in the wild. It's highly illegal and anemone nemorosa is actually poisonous as well. If you really want to add this to your garden, there are reputable retailers out there. Please do your research. Right, that's it for this Plant of the Week video. If you have a suggestion for Plant of the Week, do leave me a message in the comments section below. Please remember to rate, share and subscribe to me here on YouTube. And until next time, bye.